Hello, Mark Houlihan here for Mustang Monthly Magazine and the Mustang360.com network. We're here in our tech center today with Danny Nix from CPP and a brand new suspension system they want to tell us about. It is a complete front and rear setup and it looks like there's a ton of pieces here, Danny. So what exactly are we looking at? This is our PTK2 for a Mustang. This is a 65 to 6 Mustang, um, 7 is an upper, very similar. Um, basically, it's everything you see on the table, front and rear, minus the axle itself. The 9-inch axle is a, the only other option. But the PTK2 includes the double adjustable coilovers, tubular upper A-arms, the tubular lower A-arm, inch and an eighth sway bar, 1-inch sway bar for the rear. It's adjustable. It's also hollow, so it's lightweight, rather high-performance stuff there. Billet aluminum mounting brackets, um, new tie plates for the 9-inch for the axle, high-performance Shackle kit which has like no side to side deflection, which is cool. Um, when you're trying to put a big tire back there and keep things tight, that's the way to go. Uh, drop coils, uh, drop leaf spring. Uh, coil springs obviously drop the car. Um, you get everything down to the spanner wrench, sway bar brackets. It's, it's a whole package, one part number. Wow, wow. It's very impressive. Uh, but the one thing that uh, concerns me a little bit when you start talking suspension is. Just how hard is it to install? You know, people get intimidated. They see, you know, springs and brackets, and they're thinking, "Oh, I gotta have a buddy with a welder." Uh, just what's involved in getting this in their car? Well, good question. The Mustang is the hardest thing that we, we make the products for, of course. Because there's some spot welds that you have to remove to get the strut rod bracket Ooh. off of the chassis, and that's it. That after that comes off, you're gonna drill a few holes. It's very easy because they line up with the, with the actual cross member. Everything else bolts into the original mount. So you mentioned earlier that the, the nine inch is actually a separate option. Uh, as complete as this kit is, are there any other options that the uh, person might be interested in to tie in with the rest of this kit? We have three other um, parts that you can buy optionally. Um, there's subframe connectors, traditional okay. from front to back. Yep. They're going to um, go in from the chassis to the front, tie into the leaf spring mount on the back end. Then there's a cross brace that we make. It's a one piece cross brace that goes underneath and ties the two subframe connectors together. And then under the hood, we have a brace for the shock towers. And it, there's no drilling required. Bolts into the shock tower mount between the, the chassis mm -hmm. and the, the shock itself. And then it goes across the car and back towards the firewall. And it's all on rod in. So you can adjust nice. it for your car. Okay. I've seen so many cars that are tweaked. It's nice <laughs> that you don't have to force it into place. Yeah, yeah. instead of having to pry the engine bay apart just to fit it, you can get it in there and then adjust it out and get everything true. Yeah. Yep. Gotcha. Unreal. Well, uh, our Week to Wicked Mustang project right here is the recipient of everything you see on this table. So once we're, we're ready to roll this baby out at the end of the week, I'm looking forward to seeing just how all this suspension handles, because I've driven this car stock. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this thing drives going out the door Friday.